the sun rose on the palaces and temples of the Golden Isle, their facades still and empty, the gods within, lost. But not Phoenix. Fighting with all her might, she had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would uncover a historical secret. Phoenix had arrived on the shore where the great warrior Philoctetes had been left to die, a snake bite festering on his foot. How did he survive this little island? Why did Odysseus pick him up and carry him to the Trojan War, a war in which Philoctetes was fated to kill Paris, the instigator of the very war that. Lord! Stop fantasizing about random nobodies and tell the real story. What real story? Phoenix was about to enter the domain of the Cyclops, where world-famous hero and sailing enthusiast Odysseus had nearly met his end. It was there that she was destined to discover the lost secret of the gods. Zeus, the Cyclops' cave was in the Great Sea. Don't care. Also, forget the cave. I want to appreciate the view. You can't just ignore historical accuracy. That's your problem. Accuracy. Because clearly I can. And what is the secret of the gods? Oh, you don't know about that, do you? Oh, master of knowledge? Well, well, listen and learn. Of you. Hello? Anyone in there? Phoenix eyed the Cyclops, keeper of the secret. But he was silent. The poor wretch had been frozen by the sea witch Circe's icy magic. Circe is on another completely different island. Or is she? Also, she doesn't have ice magic. Not ice. I see. She sees things and then transforms them. You know what? I bet you that you cannot enlighten us with one truth during your story. Not one. Done. What's your favorite food? The fruit from Grandma Magaya's garden. Gods, I miss the taste. The juice was so rich, it would flow down my chin. Divine. Ah, oh, yeah. Those babies were delicious. Babies? From the mosaics? You know that's just a visual metaphor, right? The fruits of the earth are not literally babies. Ah, that explains the soapy aftertaste. Right. If I lose the bet, you will be allowed to partake of the fruit. Now, if I may... Phoenix realized only the song of the sirens would free the Cyclops from Circe's spell. Circe! You're mine! Oh boy. Not quite! Circe and her pops, Poseidon, had sent reinforcements.
Odysseus had taken flight to the island of the Siren Song on his mechanical wings. He wore a pair stolen from Circe's weaponarium and massage parlor. You know that Odysseus visited Circe after Polyphemus. But go on. Phoenix was not so lucky. Wingless, she just had to believe. through the air, and then a miracle. Odysseus's wings appeared on her back. By the gods, I can fly. Those do not belong to Odysseus, and she's had them the entire time. Prometheus, she just had to believe. Phoenix couldn't wait to have the secret of the gods in her clutches. She would rule over all Olympus. You know she's trying to save all of us. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave the mortals fire. Yeah, I chained you to a rock for all eternity as punishment. Good point. Why is she trying to help you? Exactly. and Poseidon would never give up until the mortal fell. You see, Phoenix knew the truth. Odysseus was a spy sent by mortals to steal the secret of the gods from the Cyclops. Polyphemus. Gesundheit. What does that mean? What does what mean? Anyway, Circe and Poseidon would never let Phoenix seize the secret.
with their cute little... Skip! It's a Minitor, but actually Cerberus! Wasn't he with Hades that weekend? Did I say Cerberus? I meant a Griffin. Make it this sheep or this year, Sea Dunder, to escape from Polyphemus. No, a lion! Might as well be a flock of roosters. Oh, good call! You're not serious. The roosters of the sea. Isn't that Tuna? Summoned by Poseidon to clack up a storm. almost recovered the siren song, which would dispel Cersei's curse. The only way to do that is with herbs. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to cool it with the herbs. You get paranoid. It's awkward. Anyway, Phoenix felt the invisible hands of her ancestors, giving her the strength to move mountains. That's not the strength of her ancestors. She's wearing the bracers of Heracles. This isn't some magical object that renders heavy things light. Prometheus, it's love.
Following in Odysseus's footsteps, Phoenix was ready to break the curse and learn the secret, or die trying. This is a side quest. No one dies on a side quest until now. So you see, Phoenix uncovered a set of targets. Philoctetes had carried his faithful weapon, the Bow of Heracles, here to Crissy Island. Tada! History. I have no idea what you just said. But clearly, Phoenix needs to use the Bow of Odysseus, which she recovered from the Pegasus Netherverse, to light some stuff on fire. Uh...
Just like that, Phoenix freed the Cyclops from Cersei's curse. Oh, wise Cyclops, what is the secret of the gods? The Cyclops turned to her and spoke. Phoenix, the secret has been inside you all along. What the? The Cyclops said, I am but a small piece of a planet that is alive. How is that a secret? I've traveled back through time to prevent a terrible future from occurring. What is that even? I see that thing. Oh, come on. Actually, the Cyclops bellowed. I smell human flesh. I'm going to liquefy your insides into an amphora after I toast your organs with my lasers. Lasers? Yes, lasers, Prometheus. Are you a child? The Cyclops can focus the light of the sun through a single eye. Actually, you'd need a magnifying glass. No one asked you. Forget the lasers. Fight! <laughs> checking out her cool new armor to care. The end. So, no secret of the gods after all. Huh? You have lost, O Zeus. Not one truth in the entirety of this ridiculous tale you have spun. I, Prometheus, am triumphant. What do you have to say for yourself? No, I'm... I'm sorry, I was eating. You're right, this is so juicy. The fruit of Gaia! What can I say? <laughs> Never make a bet when you're chained to a rock. Actually, that's the secret of the gods. Oppression! Hey, did I just win the bet? <laughs> <laughs> 